New developments now, and could the Browns wind up playing in the suburbs? The latest comments from owners Jimmy and Dee Haslam seem to open that door. Jim Nelson live tonight as the team's push for a stadium upgrade takes another turn, Jim. Yeah, Chris, the Browns lease with the city is up in 2028. Publicly, they've said that their goal is to simply renovate the current stadium. But behind the scenes, we're hearing a bit of a different story. Reports that they actually favor a new stadium. And now it sure sounds like even a site outside of the city could be on the table. For the better part of the last century, the Browns have played on the shores of Lake Erie, about 25 years at the current stadium, outdated by most league standards, which is why the Haslam's want something better. Our preference is to be on the lakefront, but you got to see how things play out. Team owners Jimmy and D. Haslam have insisted they want to remodel and be the centerpiece of the city's lakefront redevelopment, but a bit more cryptic at training camp. The only thing D and I would say for sure is we're not leaving Northeastern Ohio. Did you hear that? We're not leaving Northeastern Ohio. Keywords, Northeast Ohio. That's a sports radio talking point. I think Plan B is one of the suburbs, and I think they're going to threaten the city with it eventually. Do you think the suburbs could be an option? Uh, it's possible, but, I mean, where do you build in the suburbs uh, that's that close to an interstate highway that has that kind of land? Citing his sources, real estate writer Ken Prendergast reported in his Neotrans blog that the Haslam's actually want a new stadium. I continue to say that their preference actually was not to be on the lakefront. My understanding is that, you know, they, they, they would still like to consider options. So what do the fans think? Not hard to find them before the Guardians game. The downtown forever crowd. Being able to walk everywhere, being on the lakefront, I think is awesome. The just don't leave us again crowd. It just has to stay in Cleveland or this general area to me. Like most pro stadiums, there would be public money, political partners. A city spokesperson did confirm to 19 News stadium talks are ongoing. Until they have signed contracts, uh, anything and everything is possible. Now, Ken tells me that the main downtown post office site is an area that has been floated. That's not too far from Progressive Field. But again, the only official word we're getting from the Browns, other than the comments from the Haslam's, is that they indeed still favor the lakefront area. And they continue to work with city, county, and state officials to make something work. Live outside Cleveland Browns Stadium, Jim Nelson, 19 News.